Alright, what's up Trash Canyon? Today we're going to be talking about something. This is my third time recording this video, so bear with me. Um, just talking about stuff I have problems with in DE. So obviously, like, you know, they've made passive, they made the uh, mobile customization cost 50k in the game now. Stuff like that. That doesn't really bother me. That That's fine. What we're going to be talking about, just in general now, is the new cars. So, some of the old cars that they are coming out now, for example, where is that, this thing? The Valhalla, right? Like, this car, this car looks fine. There's nothing really to complain about. Let's look at my Gumballa Mirage GT. Now, this model is from a couple years back, right? Interior, not very great. Like, the, the carbon looks good, you know? Not really great gauges. Stuff like that. Now, let's go check out a brand new car. Well, we can just look at this one. This is a new car. Detail, not that great. Pretty similar levels. You have working speedometer gauges, which I believe are just ripped from the Ford GT, or this car, which has pretty much the same gauges. Again, detail, just just kind of mid. We have stuff like the Ghostbusters Ectomobile, which detail is atrocious on. We have, where is it? Where's that new car? Uh, this thing right here, which we know was made very recently, where again detail is kind of mid. So. On all of those models, what those all have in common, at least to my knowledge, is those are relatively new models in the sense that they were made recently, right? And they really are pretty similar quality level to the MGT, maybe slightly better because they have opening stuff, but like model detail wise, really not that much um, worse or better. You know, it's, it's that's what you're saying. This car, for example, again, I love this thing. It's not that great detail, like the Countach that came out back with the MGT with similar level detail. And then you can go ahead and look at some newer cars, like the, uh, whatever this thing's called, I'm blanking out here. Which, you know, are still decently detailed, but what's interesting is all the new cars that are coming- I hope you can follow this, this is kind of confusing. All the new cars that are coming out, basically, that were made a few months ago and have just been waiting to be released are pretty solid detail. All the cars that have just been made under Voldex, such as this car, for example, the detail is not so great on. So what I'm trying to get at is I feel like DE just in general, quality control is going down a lot. I don't know if that's just because, oh, I just realized what that plate said, okay. I don't know if that's just because, um, you know, they're just trying to save money on models or what? But this is what I want to talk about or ask questions or feedback on is, do you guys agree with me that DE quality is going downhill? Cause like nowadays I feel like we just have a lot of updates that are either like made just to try and get people on. For example, the new limit is not to diss the tree calore. I'm not getting that because it's just another wire BC. It's a cool car. The, nothing wrong with that model. It, it's a great looking car. But the new Supra, for example, this should have, in my opinion, 100% just been a body kit on the normal Supra right, right here. Like, this car already has a body kit, yes, but like... Why wasn't the new one just another body kit? It kind of feels like they just wanted an easy limited, in my opinion. So, uh, yeah, that kind of sucks. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I wish my mom hadn't walked in, but there's no way in hell I'm recording this again. So, uh, yeah, with that being said, uh, let me know in the comments what you think and if you agree with me or not. Because I'm just trying to figure out if I should make a video on the main channel about this. The reason I didn't just make one is because General Kiko DM me telling me Voldex doesn't like me and I might be in trouble by them if I keep making videos about it, which might not be true. That's not to say General Kiko's bad. He was literally just passing along a message. But yeah, so I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, feedback. Thanks. Bye.